but how do you guys prove your credibility if you're not necessarily at the stage that you've got lots of projects behind you? What would you do? Please do, Courtney. Create a... <coughs> so something physically to give them. Yep. 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 Okay, so case studies, if you've done case studies, what else would you put in there? Holly? If you haven't done any of those, yep. um, it's self-presentation, isn't it? Yep. So you're presenting yourself, your knowledge, yep. um, and building the trust, and that's how you're doing it. Yep. So how would you do that? What would you physically produce for the meeting? Because I like to give, like, a FUD value. Oh, I don't know now. <laughs> Financial details, credit score, lovely. What else? Memberships, associations, degrees. What's your transferable skills? What's your home ownership like? Um, what's your business plan? Um, if you haven't done anything at all, and most of you have, because you're quite a, a, an experienced group, um, but let's just say you hadn't done anything, how many properties have you viewed in the last month? Show me your stats. I've viewed 400 properties or 200 properties. I've made 500 phone calls. I've made offers on X. Or I'm looking at this deal, this deal, this deal. By the time you and I decide to work together, those deals will be gone. So there's no urgency to my request. But this is the kind of thing I'm starting to work on. So you're presenting kind of opportunity that, that you're new and fresh. If one person had worked with me, how much money would they have made? They'd be multi, multi multi-millionaires wouldn't they if one person with big pockets had gone Suze I'm going to pick you up and I'm going to be your funder they'd have made so many millions of pounds so if somebody had caught me at the very early stage before I went baby <laughs> I ain't gone with one investor they'd have just made a fortune Paul Ribbons he's got one major investor have you met him as business partner smart cookie behind the scenes smart cookie Paul does all the hard work, he does the funding. Do you think that's a bad idea then? I think it's very rare that one investor doesn't turn into a prima donna, but a sensible investor doesn't turn into a prima donna. When I finish doing my stuff and start investing in, guess who I'm going to be investing in? Some of you guys, because I've seen you for a year. Then I, I will know to never be a prima donna because I'll have been through enough bumps and lumps and I'll be able to catch the tone of the voice. Um, but that's because I've got enough experience to know what it's like on the other side. I think most investors have made the money elsewhere, come into property and don't understand, you know, what pressure they're necessarily putting on. Or they come in from a corporate background and they come in with corporate uh, behaviours, which is not a fit for entrepreneurial behaviour. There's a mismatch there.